Key West, baby. Right, Sam? Right! We're in Key West, and I couldn't be more excited. You guys know this is one of my favorite spots. Me and Sam came here for a little Sandra vacation. Little soiree. friend, little friend soiree, if you will. Um, I want to update you guys really quick, because we've already been here for about, like, 16 hours, maybe? And a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Like, a lot. I flew into Tampa, which is where Sam lives, and then we drove, like, eight hours down to Key West. We're staying in this Airbnb, which you guys will get, uh, you guys will get a nice little tour of in in just a second. But, um, we got here. First things first, we're bringing all our suitcases in from the car, right? Sam. Okay. No, no, no. Be, no. Take it easy on me. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We got locked out of the Airbnb. Like, before we could even put our bags down. We got locked out with Sam's phone inside. She was Duncan the one- Duncan was inside! Duncan was inside, but I don't know why that, that wasn't an issue. Sam was the one who was in contact with the Airbnb people, and her phone was stuck inside. So, immediately, Sam started crying. And she was like, my dog! I was like, okay, yeah, your dog's in there, but we're outside. And keep in mind, it is record-breaking cold in Key West this week. It's literally like 55 degrees outside right now, so it's, it's, it's nice and tropical. We're really living our beach baddie lives. So we finally got back inside. That was what it was. Then we, we want to go out for dinner, and the one thing we said was what? We're not gonna drink. We are not gonna drink. We are just going to Margaritaville, which is a restaurant. We're not getting margaritas. It's fine. What did we expect? It's called Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. The server came over and she was like, would you guys like any drinks? And I said, yep. And I got a moonshine blackberry margarita or four. And oh, you hit my titties. And then Sam, why don't you tell me what you got? Four mango something margarita and then we had chugging contests and basically long story short there was tequila shots it was a lot we went to a karaoke bar and this is where everything kind of everything went downhill mm, yeah it was not very good we wound up taking two just two tequila shots at the karaoke bar and we got into a scream fight a no. public scream fight. Yeah, it was a public display of hating each other. A drunken public display of hating each other in the middle of the karaoke bar about karaoke. It was about Say Something. Like the song, Say Something, I'm Giving Up, but like about that song. A blowout fight. Keep in mind, we've been best friends for four years, we've never fought. So, Sam was like, I'm getting an Uber and you're not fucking coming in it. <laughs> so I was like, I don't care how much we hate each other, you're not going anywhere alone while you're drunk. So I jumped in the Uber and we literally hated each other, right? So we're on our way home. Keep in mind, we're 0.8 miles away from our Airbnb. So mm -hmm. what the next events happened within 0.8 miles. A drunk man jumped on the roof of our Uber and would not get off, refused. Little clip of that. Then, finally the man gets off and the car in front of us gets plowed into by a fire truck. Plowed. So now we're stuck behind that, still hating each other. Oh, there were some hookers involved. Some hookers tried to get in our car and they like looked at our Uber driver and they were like, we got home, we got into an even worse scream fight here until we realized, like we sobered up a little and realized we were fighting about- Karaoke? A song, a karaoke song. That was a fight, yeah. I kept on telling people that Sam was in the top 10 of American Idol, so then they were forcing her to sing. She got anxiety, and that's where the fight started. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Dex Pro, and apparently you're not to have any alcohol with that, so... I'm on Adderall. Tell me if I should have alcohol with that. I don't know. <laughs> we went out for lunch. We ordered cheese fries. They gave us a bowl of cheese and fries. Well, here's the picture. Bruh. Like that a bowl of cold cheese, cold cut cheese. And then we rented a golf cart. Got Starbies. And I think you guys are all pretty much caught up. I'll give you a little tour now. And then we're, we're gonna enjoy our trip in Key West together. Oh, just us three. Four. Duncan's here too. Tour time. Welcome. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Come on in. Oh. <clears throat> Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Any keys not returned to the office will be charged to your credit card. <laughs> Over here. We have the living room. What's your favorite part? When I'm tired, I just like rest my hand on this wire. So that's a nice part too. Over here we have the kitchen. Hold on. I'm trying not to let my legs shake. Is that why you're walking like that? What's in my fridge? <laughs> Funny you ask. Mmm. We don't know what those are. We haven't had them yet. This is where I make all my doo-doos and farts. And leave your hair. Yes. I shaved in my face. Um, let me just suck in, hold on. This is my room. You don't even have to suck in, you skinny mini. This is Sam's room. You can just like, 
You know what I mean? That's my favorite candy. I think what makes this $4,000 for three days. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Sam Drew Abyss. Right? Sam Drew? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam or Drew. Sam Drew Pear. The Andam Abyss. I don't want to do that. Okay, it's nighttime, but you try vlogging in Key West, okay? I promise you it is so much harder than you would think. Is this even focused? Anyway, I found these in the fridge. Sam bought them from Target. I've never had them. It's called Alani Seltz. Look how cute. Oh, you can't get it. Can you help? Watch me how I abrac... <laughs> do you see what happens? Abracadabra, these bitches. Wait, I think this is pink, please. No, this is <laughs> Okay, put this back in the I'm fridge for now. Big bitch. Oh wait, is it gonna focus on me? The plan for tonight is I'm gonna go meet up with Zach's mom while Sam gets ready. Um, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna have a drink or two wherever I go with Zach's mom. And then I'm gonna come back here and then me and Sam are gonna go out and we're gonna we're gonna vlog it and make TikToks because we're what? We're Smith Joe and Andrew TMI. Who are who? Influencers. We're just trying to talk ourselves up because we don't look at ourselves like real influencers. Trying my most so. Cheers. That is fun. I'm gonna be honest. That's that, ain't, that ain't good. Peach, please. Oh, there's no way that went through the taste testing process and someone was like, yep, that's good. There's no way that that got through the taste testing. Three, two, one. This is so bad. It burns. It's really not good. It burns. <coughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. That's really bad. <laughs> Something tells me these are gonna be sitting in the fridge. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn, what the fuck is wrong with you? I chucked it. <laughs> that was a club sandwich. We'll see you out. Where is Sam? Hmm. There she is. <laughs> She's taking a shit. Listen, I don't even give a fuck because Sam's the one who got me drunk, so she did this. I don't give a fuck because Sam's the one who got me this drunk. Hi, number one. Me and Sam, we're like, we're gonna have one crazy night out. Hold on, let me start over. No, don't no, start it over. What? Nothing, go ahead. Watch this. Me and Sam were gonna have a crazy night in Key West together. We were like, oh, then Sam was like, nope, I'm not drinking. Instead, I'm gonna buy Andrew 20 shots. Am I gonna turn down a shot? No. We're gonna be sober, taking Samantha's makeup off. I'm taking a break. I'm just taking a break. Well, maybe not. Hey everyone. 
everybody. Um, it's, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed this video, but I, there, there's a few things I left out that I wanted to say. I originally didn't think this video was gonna be like good enough to post on its own, so I was gonna film like a story time portion, but little Kaylee worked her magic and uh, it wound up turning out well. So there's just like one little part I wanna add. But before we get into that, I have a few disclaimers. First of all, yes, I'm wearing Sam's merch again. I don't know how it happens that just every time I film, I'm wearing Sam's merch. Number two, the angles in this video are giving me anxiety. It's already edited, so I've watched it. They are giving me anxiety. I always say like, I look so much skinnier on Instagram and everyone's like, yeah, because you fucking facetune the pictures. Like, no, I mean, yeah, I, I facetune them a little. My point is the camera literally has a vendetta against me. Like, I think in this, in the next clip, you're gonna see of me eating the Chick-fil-A. I do be losing weight, okay? But this was only like two weeks ago and the camera's down here. Now just take this in, you ready? Look. But whatever, we don't care. Who cares? A double chin? We all we all got a double chin, right? <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys that our last day in Key West, I was sound asleep in my room and I am the heaviest sleeper in the entire world. Like I do not wake up from my alarms. It's a real problem. So apparently our last day there, um, the house next to our Airbnb burnt down to the ground. <laughs> Everyone was safe. Don't worry, I wouldn't be making a joke out of this. Everyone was safe. However, it was the house that was right next to my room. The house burnt down and Sam was awake for it and like looking, like her head was out the window. She was like trying to see what was going on and she didn't think to come wake me up as the house next to me was burning down. Um, apparently she said it sounded like World War III outside. There were fire trucks, cops, a house burning down and I slept. I'll insert pictures of the house here. It was a very eventful couple of days in Key West. Let's get back to the video now, and I'm sorry about how the camera fucking does me dirty. Okay, we're back at Sam's. It's been a hectic week. Sam just got me this for breakfast. It's little chicken littles from Chick-fil-A, and it came in a little heart container. And I wanted to do a test taste with you guys because I've never had the chicken littles. As you can see, I'm kind of dead. Things on the agenda for today. I'm going home, so that's kind of sad. Also, other things on the agenda. Um, I put on a, a nice outfit. Nice outfit for you guys. And I'm gonna go, I don't know, take a picture because when you're staying the week with an Insta baddie, you kind of just have to be an Insta baddie by default. Oh, speaking of the Insta baddie now. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, you learned it. I'm gonna try the chicken mini. Okay, they're the best. It's my, my current binge food. It's a problem. Yum. I just love how sweet the roll is. Mmm. They don't talk about Bruno. For left? No. Did you show them the container? It's shaped like a heart because they clog your arteries. Anywho, we're gonna go take some Insta Baddy pictures, then go in the pool, and then I got a flight to catch, so. If you guys remember last time, Sam and I did a breath holding contest where I absolutely destroyed her. I think we should do a round two to that. You're a sucker, you little bitch. You think I'm playing? You... Did you win? Yeah. You did? Yeah. How many times did you come up for air? I never went down. <laughs> what a bitch. Are you I'm a winner. Peeing? No, why? Are you peeing in the pool? No, I am not peeing in the pool. That's disgusting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Oh. Oh, thank you. It looks like you're trying to hold like a sandwich with your feet. How else are you gonna hold the sandwich? <laughs> Have yeah. you ever just grabbed your thighs in the water and shook them? Something tells me that looks so bad. <laughs> 